This is a stretch that we do to improve hip rotation. We call it the Captain Morgan stretch. That's all I want to do is grab a small weight. If you don't have a weight, that's fine. You don't need plyometric boxes. You can use a staircase or you can use a folding chair, whatever you have at home. And what I want to do is I just want to rotate my hip out as far as it goes, making sure that we don't turn, okay? Square your pelvis, and I just bring my knee over my toe, just like this, okay? And I do that 20 times for two sets on each leg, depending on what restriction we found in the clinic. So two sets of 20, and you should be good. We wanna work on improving the internal rotation of your hip. So these are called hip airplanes. So your foot is gonna be here. We want something to hang on to because we don't really care about your balance right now. Hang on to something. Make sure that your body and your leg are parallel to the ground. And then I drop my pelvis down. And then I wanna pull it back to square or I can lift. That'll provide some strengthening for your rotators that are deep in your hip. So if you just want to improve motion, I drop down and square, drop down and square. I will do this two sets of 15, or if I want to get a strengthening component to it, I drop down, hold for a few seconds, lift. Drop all the way down, hold, lift. That'll be two sets of 15. Ready? We want to start building some uh, load tolerance to the patellar tendon. So if you've got patellofemoral pain, we want to make sure that we train and we train pain free. If we have knee pain coming from that patellar tendon and we don't train at all, you're just allowing time for that tissue to heal, but nothing is adapting. The tendon isn't getting any stronger. So the more time you take off, the more that tendon adapts to not having any load to it. So we wanna make sure we train pain-free. I'm doing this on a six inch box, but you can do it on a staircase if you'd like to. What we wanna do is my right knee hurts. I wanna bring my toes off the edge here, okay? I'm gonna lift my toes. I'm gonna to find that pain-free motion, which is there about 45 degrees. And I'm going to hold this contraction for 45 seconds. And then I'm going to relax for a minute. And I'm going to bring this back out. Toes are off the staircase. I find the pain-free motion. Quads turned on. I want to hold 45 seconds on, one minute off. Repeat this five times. As you progress in this exercise and your pain is less in your patellar tendon, then I can do small pulses within a pain-free range of motion. So this would be the progression. Toes are up, I find my pain-free range, and now I go a little bit deeper. And I do 10 to 20 pulses, take a break, it's pain-free, 10 to 20 pulses, I rest for 30 seconds, and I do this 10 sets just like this. That's how I progress this exercise. Okay. So we're addressing your knee pain or your patellofemoral pain, okay? So everyone's got walls at home. I want you to sit against the wall, nice and flat. Make sure your feet are out far enough to where you feel like you're supported. We want to make sure that when you load this tissue, it's not painful. So if this doesn't hurt, I wanna go and find where the tissue might to start cause pain, and then I just back out of it. So we go onto the verge of pain. So right here, I'm not having any pain. We wanna make sure we train just outside of the pain. That way we can load this tendon or load this joint in a pain-free range of motion. Then I'm gonna hinge forward, okay? This will start to contract not only my quads, but it'll kick in my hamstrings and my rear end here. And I want to find a pain-free range of motion to train. I'm going to hold this 45 seconds on, one minute off. Repeat that five times. You're going to get strong fairly quick. So we want to advance it. I go to one leg. 
So I'm going to drop my opposite leg back. Again, find your pain-free range of motion. Hinge forward. Now the majority is on just this one leg, maybe 90% here and 10% back here. Same, 45 seconds on, one minute off, and we do that five times.